Hello and welcome to another Stamp with Amy K Facebook Live video and I am just out here on my business page double checking that I'm live where I would like to be and um, hopefully I am. If you give me one second here to make sure that I've got the video pulled up and can see comments or anybody hopping on. So hopefully you all um, are having a good day and if you're hopping in live, feel free to say hello. And if not, if you're watching on the replay, feel free to leave a comment um, as well. So. Of course, my uh, computer is not being extremely cooperative right now, <laughs> showing me the live video. Okay, so video is up, so it should be good to go. So again, if you're all joining me live, feel free to hop in and say hello. And if not, um, watching the replay is just great too. So today, I'm going to show you really quickly how it is that I made this card with the beautiful Friendship stamp set, which is one that is in the current annual catalog, and it's a photopolymer stamp set with some beautiful images on it as well as the Seriously the Best stamp set, which is from the upcoming um, occasion, the upcoming January to June uh, 2020 mini catalog, not the occasions catalog. So i um, have got this out here. Um, this is a new stamp set and it actually coordinates with a really cool project kit. And I'm in the process of putting the project kit together. Uh, <laughs> otherwise I'd show you that, but um, the project kit um, has got some really pretty cards in it and a neat little box, some, some pretty envelopes and things. So this is a project kit that'll be available in the upcoming catalog. Hey Rosie, I see Connie's here too. Thanks for hopping on ladies. Um, so this stamp set is designed to coordinate with this project kit. Um, however, they are not, the stamp set's available individually. So if, you know, you prefer not to get the project kit and just want the stamp set, you can definitely do that. So um, anyway, but like I said, it's a good stamp set, um, some good sentiments in it. I like the fonts in it and thought it was would work well with the sort of look that I was going for in this card. So hey, Roz, thanks for joining. I see Christine's here as well. So thanks for hopping in today, ladies. And um, gentlemen, I'm sure hopefully there are a few gentlemen out there. And I'm not sure how well that you can see it. And I'll show you in just a second this um, embossed panel underneath. I actually used a new embossing folder for that as well. And it is called the Stone 3D Embossing Folder. And hopefully you can see it if I hold it still um, or fairly still. Hopefully you can see the design on it. It's a really cool embossing folder that's going to be available during celebration. It is bundled with the Power of Hope stamp set. And this will be available as a free item with an order of $100 or greater during celebration, which starts on January 3rd. So that is for, hey, Patricia, thanks for hopping in. I see you're here too. So I should let you all know that um, there it's a snow day, well, an ice day here. So the kids are home from school. So hopefully you won't hear too much racket in the background. The dog will probably be barking. You know, it's going to be one of those days. So <laughs> anyway, but um, hopefully they'll be fairly quiet. So um, so yes, it's a really cool embossing folder. I actually saw recently someone did a project with it in, I want to say it was soft suede or, or maybe crumb cake. I can't remember which. And they actually embossed a panel and then sort of sponged it a little bit and it looked just like faux leather. So it was very cool. So this is definitely a must have as far as I'm concerned. And it's again, bundled together with the power of hope stamp set. Um, it will be available during celebration with an order of $100 or greater um, starting on January 3rd. So let me know if you have questions about that. And um, again, it's definitely uh, a, uh, a good one and it'll be available. Um, if you're interested in joining now, you can always pre-earn it. Um, just putting in an order as a demonstrator now. So if you're interested in joining, let me know. <laughs> so, and hopefully, I'm hoping that Facebook is gonna be cooperative. I know that some of my friends have been having some issues with lives not working well and the video cutting, the sound and things cutting out. So I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, everything will go smoothly for us today. And if not, I'll figure it out. So I'll re-upload it or whatever. Um, before we get started, I do want to remind you, anybody that has not been, seen the note that I posted on my blog this morning, the clearance rack from Stampin' Up! has been updated. So go get out there, get some really great deals. There are some really, really, really good deals. Lots of new dyes and things. Not new, sorry. <laughs> Lots of retired dyes. Um, some embossing fullers. There was a lot of paper out there this morning, embellishments. So lots and lots of new, really good things out on the... Um, clearance rack this morning so if you haven't been out there don't bother watching the video now you can always come back and watch the replay go get on and do your <laughs> do your shopping first so that you're able to get those deals because they're only while supplies last so uh, let me know if you have questions about that so I started today again I'm hoping you can see it uh, since it's white on white I know it's a little bit hard to see but I went ahead and pre-embossed that uh, panel of whisper white cardstock for the background on this 
with that stone 3D embossing folder and the new embossing folder plate. If you do not have this thing, it's definitely, you need to get it. It works fantastically with our new um, embossing folders. The new 3D embossing folders are a little thinner than the previous ones, so this um, allows you to be able to emboss with it. You just put your embossing platform paper inside the embossing folder in the blue plate, run it through your die cutting machine, and it works perfectly. So, uh, I see Mary hopped in too. Great, glad that you're here. So. She says that um, she's having an ice day too. Yep, it's, I don't know what's up with the weather, but we're all home from school. So, <laughs> hey, Nancy. Hi, Jean. Thanks for hopping in today. So, um, just wanted to quickly share the item number with, with that embossing plate is 149658. And then Stamp It Up also announced last week that they've got cutting plates available for uh, die cutting machines again. And it's a two pack of plates and it's 150815. So, let me know if you have any questions on that. This flyer is out on my blog. So, if you um, are interested, and taking a peek at it and want to be able to read the details. I know it's kind of hard to see on the video. You can definitely do that there. All right, so back to the card. So I started out, I'm going to be posting all the details out on my blog tomorrow, which is uh, stampwithamyk.com. If you don't follow along, feel free to hop out there and uh, click the follow button and um, add your email address and the posts will come right to your inbox. So I started out with a thick whisper white card base and it's obviously four and a half um, by 11 scored at five or four and a quarter I'm sorry oh, four and a quarter by 11 scored at five and a half is what I was trying to say and this panel is four and a quarter by five and a half inches and again it's been embossed with that stone 3d embossing folder and I'm going to use a little bit of liquid glue to adhere it on the card front um, and if you've watched my videos in the past um, I do tend to when I'm embossing an entire card front I usually emboss a panel that's the same size as the card front and then stick it on with glue just because it, in my opinion, it looks a little bit better. And then your card front on the inside is not all bent up and strange looking uh, from being embossed. And um, it's also a lot easier to get it through your machine <laughs> when you've got just the uh, little piece of cardstock rather than trying to bend a card base around an embossing folder. So that's my tip for the day. So. All right, so there you go. So we got that adhered together. And then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp a little bit. Um, and obviously, again, this is all layered up white on white. So I've got the layer on the outside here is three and three quarters by five inches. And then I've got an, a piece that's gonna layer right inside that that I'm actually gonna do the stamping on. That is three and five eighths by four and seven eighths inches. So I put together, uh, I pulled out the, um, stamp set which is the beautiful friendship stamp set and i've got um, a couple of these put on blocks already so we've got 30 flamingo ink we're going to start with and going to stamp the large rose image twice going to stamp it once sort of right side up and then a second time we're going to flip it and stamp it upside down since that was sort of the look i was going for with this card Hopefully you guys are all, I don't know what the weather's like where you are, but like I said, it's been, the uh, ice has been a little crazy here, so <laughs> the kids are off school. The roads, apparently, I'm hearing, are not that bad, but there's ice, like, hanging from everything that is above the road surface. All the trees are coated in ice and everything else, so I'm just staying in today. I decided I don't need to be out, so I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> the kids don't need to be out either, so that's awesome. All right, next up, we've got a little bit of Melon Mambo ink, and I'm going to stamp the flower centers in Melon Mambo ink. Um, again, this is a photopolymer stamp set, so it makes it fairly easy to line things up and stamp them without having to do any extra work. Um, just ink it up, look through your stamp, and put it down where you want it to go. Oh, and then we've got the smaller flower centers I'm going to also stamp um, before I put this stamp set, or before I put this ink away. And again, it's Melon Mambo I'm stamping with out here. There we go. All right. Um, next up, I used a little bit of pineapple punch ink to add in this little, I, it's a flower image of some sort. I'm not entirely sure which type of flower it is, but it's a little flower, so we'll just call it a flower image. And again, it's pineapple punch ink. Wanted this to be nice and bright and kind of springy, so hopefully I did that with the bright colors on it. And again, everything I'm stamping on one side, I'm just flipping and stamping it again on the other side so that it's sort of a mirror image kind of look. And then the last ink that I'm gonna use is Granny Apple Green, and I'm just gonna add a couple of the leaves. Again, these are from the Beautiful Friendship stamp set. I'm just gonna add the leaves a couple of times around the flowers. 
and try not to have my um, piece of cardstock land right in my ink pad like it just about did there. <laughs> so not that it would be the end of the world, but you know, just have to try to figure out what I can use to cover that one up. So I'm sticking a few leaves around here. Add in another one maybe up here. And each one of these ends up being just a little bit different just because um, it's hard to get them lined up exactly the same way unless you use your Stamparatus, which is good. But um, when you're doing a lot of little stamping like this, sometimes the Stamparatus can take a little more time than I like to spend on it. So I usually just put the ink down and where it ends up is where it ends up. So, all right, so I think we're done with that part of the card. Then I'm gonna stamp the sentiment, which again is from the Seriously the Best stamp set. And um, I went ahead and pre-cut this is one inch by uh, three and seven eighths, three and five eighths inch, I'm sorry. Um, I've got a little strip of paper cut here and hopefully I'll get this stamped somewhat straight. So, and I'm using Melon Mambo ink on the, the sentiment. So, and I really, I like the fonts a lot in this one. I think anything that's sort of scripty like this are usually my favorite ones, but I really like that this is kind of a nice bold sentiment because sometimes you just really need one of those. So let's see how I did here. All right, I think I got it fairly straight and fairly evenly inked. So we'll, we'll call that one good. Um, the next thing that I did was I pulled out the braided border punch and I went ahead and pre-punched one of these strips of paper. Um, this is a new punch that is also in the upcoming catalog from the, um, it's the January to June 2020 mini catalog. So it's a new border punch that we've got here. And I know it's kind of hard with the light shining on it to see it, but backside's kind of easier. Um, but basically I took a one inch by three and five eighths inch strip of Whisper White cardstock and I just sort of made it look, um, when, you'll see when I put the card together, but I wanted kind of a scalloped edge around it. So I've slid it in and it's not quite to the edge. Hopefully you can see that here when I'm holding it. So I've Slid the piece of cardstock in. Gonna flip the punch down, and this will probably wiggle the screen a little. So, all right. So we've got one punch done, and then I'm gonna slide it through. Line up here along the edge, so I know that I'm close to where I want it to be. And then the nice thing about these border punches is that it actually lines up when you put your image in here in the slide it on through, um, put it on the other side. It actually lines up with the images over here so that you know that you've got it in the right place, hopefully to punch it a second time, which we did. So it ended up with a, an even little punch along here. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned it, I, I meant to, but um, anyway, the, the braided border punch is actually available in the new catalog in a bundle as well. There's a stamp set called the Beautifully Braided Stamp Set. And you can get it, um, again, in the new catalog starting on January 3rd. So to get the little scalloped edge look, I basically just lined everything up here and covered the holes on it. I didn't want the holes poking through here. So I just covered it and made it look like a scalloped edge and then did the same thing on the other side. Went ahead and lined everything up, hopefully. Trying to get the edges lined up too. And the holes covered up, there we go. So we've got that all uh, ready to go on the card front. And then added a little bit more snail on it. And then put it kind of right over here where things are layered one on top of the other and I don't necessarily love the look of that. Um, just went ahead and put the sentiment right over the top of that. So there we go. And then we're gonna adhere again, just gonna add another layer of white because it's like a white on white on white card. So, oh, Nancy's saying her wish list is growing. It's, de it's yes, there are some really good things in this catalog. I mean, it's, it's a great catalog. And then the celebration items on top of it, just there's oh, lots and lots of good things. Whoop, almost put that on the wrong piece of cardstock. Good thing I stopped and looked. So again, just layering it on with a little bit of snail. And there is the card front. I uh, added in a couple little embellishments. Um, so I've got one of the glitter enamel dots, which I've used up almost my whole pack of these. Um, I've got one of the glitter enamel dots we're gonna stick up here next to the sentiment. And then we're gonna add a couple of the little um, noble peacock rhinestones. We're gonna use the green ones. And I, I actually don't think these really truly are the exact same color as the ink, but <laughs> um, when I looked at it, I thought it was close enough. Um, that I could get by with it. And I liked the way it looked, gave it a little extra sparkle. So 
because I can't remember, I don't remember what the green is in here, but I feel like it's not Granny Apple, but I think I'm making it work. So, all right, so we've got that put together and then we're gonna go back and grab the card base and use a couple Stampin' Dimensionals. So, yes, the, yes, the clearance rack today. Oh man, there are some really great deals. There are some really good dies out there. Um, the Hometown Greetings ones, I know that was a very popular set of dies, and I was kind of surprised to see them out on the clearance track, um, but those are ones that you could really use with any sentiment um, and layer those up so they're really, really nice. There's a lot of good paper out there, so I had to <laughs> ask for extra pay, <laughs> extra uh, work to pay for your spending spree. Yes, I know. It's, like I said, the clearance rack has got some really good deals on it, so... And even a bunch of the current embossing folders are out there. I'm assuming it's the old style of the embossing folder, but you know, there are some neat embossing folders out there, lots of good stuff. So definitely go take a peek if you haven't yet. Um, so using a few Stampin' Dimensionals to adhere this onto the card front. And that's it for the outside of the card. Then the inside of the card, just gonna do a little bit of stamping again, um, similar to what we did on the card front. We're gonna use a little flirty flamingo ink and the larger, flower. I think this is a rose, but I'm not even entirely sure. I think that's what it's supposed to be. But we'll just call it a flower because I'm often wrong on things like that. So I just know it's pretty and that's all that matters. <laughs> so, oh, Jean's saying that's too much ribbon. Yes. Well, you can never have too much ribbon. So, you know, it's sort of like embellishments. You really can't ever have too many, <laughs> at least in my opinion. So, but yeah, lots and lots of good stuff out there. So definitely go check it out if you haven't yet. All right, adding in the flower centers in Melon Mambo ink, and then we're gonna take the leaves and stamp them around in a little granny apple green ink, and we'll be done with the inside of the card too. So, oops, I didn't get a very good image on that one. Let's see if I can stamp it again. That's better. One bonus of the photopolymers is I can usually fix my mistakes, usually, <laughs> not always, but stick one more in here, and I think we'll call that good. All right, so Connie's saying, uh, amen to never having too much ribbon and too many embellishments. <laughs> See, yep, you can never have too many. So, especially when it all still is, you know, current colors and whatever, it's hard not to. Oh, that's one other thing is the, there are lots of current colors of cardstock out there. They're mixed packs, um, but it's still current colors. So again, lots of really, really good deals. So get out there and take a look if you haven't yet. So using a little bit of snail to adhere this to the inside of the card. And then I'm gonna carefully take my bone folder, which of course I forgot to pull out, and go across the back to get a nice crease on it, but I don't wanna smash the embossing, so I don't wanna to be too heavy-handed with the bone folder, but um, that's it for the card today. So hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, hopefully you learned a few things. Hopefully you've added a few more things to your wish list from the upcoming catalog. Um, next week, I was trying to think that whether I'm gonna hop on. Next week, Tuesday, will be Christmas Eve, so I will tentatively say that I'm going to hop on um, if something should happen and I decide not to, I'll post a note, but I'll, tentatively I will plan to hop on and share a project with you again. Um, thanks so much. I'm glad that you guys like the card and um, thanks for joining me today. And um, hopefully, like I said, I will plan to see you next week, Tuesday, um, around one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, but yeah, like I said, I think that I'm going to plan to hop on. If, for, if something should change, I'll let you know. But I will plan to hop on and see you all next week, Tuesday. Thanks so much for joining today. Let me know if you have any questions. Um, again, I'll be posting all the details out on my blog tomorrow. So feel free to hop on um, stampwithamyk.com and you can see the details and all the information as well. Thanks for joining today and we will chat soon.